Pope Francis delivering his Christmas Day message, telling the world's 1.2 billion Roman Catholics that Christmas has been taken hostage by materialism. He also stressed the need for more humility in a world often obsessed with gifts, feasting, and self-centeredness. And then everyone went out to the mall. No, here to react, <laughs> Fox News religion contributor, Father Jonathan Morris. Good morning, and Merry morning. Christmas. Merry, Merry morning. Christmas, Father. So, Jonathan. how did people, you know, I was just looking at the pool report from, uh, we mentioned President elect Donald Trump went uh, to Bethesda by the Sea in Palm Beach for, for Mass last night. Uh, and it was Rector James Harlan who said that everyone needs to make room for the Savior. He said, if we make room, we will have the grace and strength to follow God. Yeah, and I think that goes well with what uh, Pope Francis was trying to say, that if we fill our hearts with everything else, then there's simply no room, right? And so there's, a, there's an emptying that needs to happen, an emptying not only of material things, but also an emptying of self, right? What, what blocks us from loving and receiving love, this, the love of God and love of others? Well, it's anger, it's anxiety, it's fear, it's resentment, it's a sense of this isn't fair, how did that happen to me? And that is... That's a lot harder than getting rid of the presents or the, you know, the extra drink or the extra whatever. How about making room in your heart to love? That's not easy. I love that. You gave a mass, a Christmas mass last night. What was your message? Um, I don't remember. It was two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was at midnight. <laughs> no, but it was, basically, it was basically that. How, how amazing is it that God would give us a second chance, not just coming as a savior dressed in armor and coming to defeat our enemies and no he came as a baby mm -hmm. how absolutely amazing who is afraid of a baby god made himself in the christian theology we believe this god made himself into the form of a baby so that he could be held by anyone and we but, have live pictures yeah. right now in fact of pope francis at the vatican there, there he is, is. christmas yeah. christmas afternoon mass there in and but he kind of right. cheated, you know. He he had he had midnight mass at 9:30 at night, and he said, "Well, it ends at midnight." We give the Pope a pass. I mean, my though, right? my parishioners would give me hell if I did that. <laughs> I really. So the other thing we want to talk about there is this Gallup poll that says that faith uh, is an important part of American lives, but there are also a lot more non-believers now. 74 percent of people say that they identify with the Christian religion. Five percent non-Christian, and then 21 percent have no religious identity. Eight years ago, it was only 15%. What changed in eight years that there are so many more people who say they don't believe in God? Well, you know, I don't think they're saying they don't necessarily believe in God. They're saying that they don't identify with a particular religion. So sometimes it's the way the poll is asked. Um, hmm. I think it's also, it's a beautiful thing that people are being honest about their doubts. You know, that's one way to look at it. Hmm. Another way to look at it, too, is 90% or even if there was, you know, 80% that, that agree on something, can try to get one, one thing in the United States of America that 80% or 90% of people agree on. That's pretty strong. So how do you bring them back if, if there are more and more people leaving religion or uh, identifying with religion? Kind of on the sidelines. Yeah. You know, I think there's a lot of people who, who say now, I'm not going to go to church or I'm not going to identify as being Christian or being Mormon or being uh, Protestant or being... Uh, Jewish, just because my parents or, or, or grandparents were that. That's a good thing. I think it's people who are deciding to say, I'm going to find out on my own. And that, there's a pulling back, but then, for example, when I was down in, um, in a church in Soho, down in lower Manhattan, it's like all super young, you know, hip kids in their hip? 20s <laughs> who have everything. They would tell me their parents basically didn't go to church, mm -hmm. and they were coming back in huge numbers mm -hmm. because they got to a point, they said, hey, life has got to have some bigger meaning yeah. than just money, than just materialism. So it's not all bad. That's great. And they figure that out completely on their own, which is also nice. Yes. Fine. But you know what? I'm a little bit mad this morning. <laughs> Why is oh, that? No. Because uh, someone stopped me outside of my church the other day. And I'm, I'm like five, I'm short. I'm like five foot seven. And they said to me, Father, you know what? You're a lot taller in real life than you are on television. <laughs> and I think it's because of people like this. Yeah, I mean, Stussy's fault. Nobody's ever told me they look taller in real life. Really? Anyway, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry oh, wow. Christmas. Merry Christmas. We well, a lot on him today. He's you are our favorite here. So short or tall, whatever you are, we always love having Merry you. Christmas. Thank Thank you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.